forever. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die! Tell him I love him dearly.
Oh, luck right there. I need a cab. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Appreciate it.
Can I get a cab out to me? We have a vehicle explosion in uh, northern Sanchiansky Mountains. It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Patricia. Please, no! I really miss you. Time together. Very important. I have to go. Team, that's what's up. Team, I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team. The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Palito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Shit cracking, nigga. He over at the usual place. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me. Like you. So bust ass nigga ain't no ball. Enough nigga, get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. 
Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, home. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? About four hours. Shit, it's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Son of boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. Ah! Weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah. It's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. You unhooked it, man. We ain't leaving them whips. The boss man ain't gonna like it if we leave them whips behind, man. Get him back on. You unhooked the trailer. Hook it back up. It's a lonely old road, isn't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the black top making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? He says no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobo, uh, maybe tired with hobo. Freedom. Freedom. Owners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now, that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creep. Michael? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little no bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you. That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Then. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you do it? Where? When? 
All right. All right. Fuck. I was running a small air freight outfit in North Yankton. Tiny operation. There's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moved across the border. Money's good. And I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway. And I see dust coming up off the road. Only it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got jacked? Who fucking knows? Fat guy's running, old guy's shouting. I don't really care, I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy. And I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. The thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. The plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. You ain't never clapped nobody before? Not real. Some deer, foxes, drifters, nothing serious. Ha. Huh. So that was like it? You and Michael rolling on through? Mas o menos. Michael didn't have the nerve back then. I didn't have the direction. Kind of work. Until Michael got his nerve. Until he got it, and he lost it. But that's another story. Oh, shit, what's that? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Mm. All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of it. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, don't forget the headset, homie. They must have waited till we was out of town. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it?
got eyes on the target. Oh, oh, oh. Clinton, where are you? We're coming up to GOA. Man, the cops is all over us. They slowed us down soon. That's not surprising. The insurance companies have been pressurizing them to find you since the studio break-in. He knew they'd be here. Man, you could have told us. Don't get emotional. We're waiting at Procopio Truck Stop. Be here soon. The lawyer chick's up at the Procopio Truck Stop. Council one, get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of? Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's... obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost call and pop motherfucker. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? This don't make no fucking sense. Nice drive! 